Hello everyone and welcome back to APM Help Academy. In today's video, we're gonna go over all things rental applications and the different options that are available to you. In this example, we have two potential tenants that we've already screened and checked, one Thorn Oakenshield and one Tom Bombadil. And we're gonna go over how to deal with two separate rental applications in the event they're gonna move in together. So we're gonna take a look about how to group two separate applications together. In order to group two separate applications, you'll select one or the other. You'll select the task group applications, and then you can choose from pre-existing applications. In this case, we'll search Tom D. Bomb the Hill, and then we can say add applications. Now we will see that the group applications shows here and Thorne's roommate Tom is now a part of his group. So whatever we end up deciding, whether to convert them to tenants or not, will impact both of them at the same time. Another important task that's available to you for the rental applications is in the event that you charge a holding deposit before the tenants move in, the way you will accomplish this is by going to the task on the right hand side, click charge hold deposit, the unit that is selected will be by default, the unit they are desiring to move into. And here you can enter the amount to which you'd like to charge at their deposit. Upon move-in, if the total deposit is $1,500, when they are finally converted to tenants, they will only be charged for the $1,000 remaining. You can say charge hold deposit once the whole deposit is charged, they will be temporary tenants to then be able to make a payment, but they are not finally moved in. In the event that you have begun a conversion for two tenants and they had a third roommate that you forgot to tie to their group for their applications, instead of going to the move in and canceling your move in, what you will want to do is you will go to the tenant page and then select the task add additional tenant. They already have a pre-existing rental application, just like the grouping of rental applications on the application page. You will just simply type their name here, or in the event that they were late and they did not send in a rental application, you can add them manually. And this is where you can add them. Upon filling out all their information, then you'll hit save, they'll be added to the group and have their name listed here. During the move-in process, this is where now you will be able to select their unit. So in this case, we will have them go to Rivendell Unit 2. And we will continue with the normal move-in flow from here. What you fill out here in your lease details section is what will impact the auto fields for move-in dates, lease start dates, and the recurring charges. So in this case, we're gonna charge them 2,100 a month for their rent. We've already charged them a holding deposit. So here we will charge them their 1,000 to get to their total deposit needed for the unit. And we will prorate the move-in charge for their first month. So once all this data is entered and correct, then we can scroll down, hit continue. And now like our other video that we looked at, this is where we will say generate lease with lease templates. So now we can, if your tenants do not have an email, this function will not work efficiently and you will need to send out physical leases. But in this example, we'll just continue as is. So we'll say continue without emails. Here we'll be able to select our template. So in this case, we'll select that Middle Earth lease template. And then here we see our manual fields we posted on that. This is where you will type that information here. And whatever you type in these boxes as you prepare the lease, is what the tenants will see on their lease based again upon those pinkish purple boxes that we set up on our lease template. So now we can hit prepare lease. We can hit continue. Now we see on our lease that we sent out as the names of our tenants, us the management company, the address, and our lease duration and charges. Now, when the lease is sent out via email or text message, the tenants will have to set up via their online portal, their electronic signature. Once they do, they'll be able to sign their lease 
And then the next step for you as the property manager is you'll come to the tenants page here, scroll down to the section that says lease information. And once the tenants have signed, the lease will be right down here and there'll be a button to say countersign. In the event that you sent out a lease and it was signed with inaccurate information, all you will do is click on the countersign button. It then will take you to the lease page here. And then you will say cancel lease. Once you cancel that lease, we'll just go back to the move in flow. Adjust the lease details that need to be adjusted. And then resend that lease. Once the lease is countersigned, then you can also finish the move-in and be done with the move-in process. The way you will finish the move-in is you will go here. You'll see that the lease is already ready and countersigned. You will then be taken to this section here where you will post when they signed it. And then you'll click done. Once clicking done, they will be fully realized tenants. Their portal should be active if you have your bank account enabled for online payments. And then it just goes into maintenance mode from there. It is important for all move-ins and move-outs to hit that done button, because otherwise if you do not, you will see multiple move-ins pile up and stack up here, and they will never be fully realized as current tenants. So it's always important upon finishing the move-in to hit done. That way you don't run a long, long uh, list here on your move-ins and move out section. This again has been all things rental applications and the different features available to you. Thank you for watching APM Academy brought to you by APM Help. If you have questions on the content, you can find us at apmhelp.com or reach us at info at apmhelp.com. Like, share, and subscribe for more.